Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode we're going to do a bit of unboxing. So we have this guy down here. We just got this in from China. So it's a fairly good sized box, if you will. So let's go ahead and let's uh, open it up and see what's inside the box. I want to be a little bit careful with the, with the knife here. So I'm not going to cut it too deep. I'm going to score it open. Notice we're, too, we're not in the shop today. This is a little bit too big for the bench. And so I'm doing it on the floor. So we've got the top off, and here's what we're looking at. And I'm going to try pulling this out. And let's see, this looks pretty snazzy. It's pretty good size. Um, I'm going to have to turn it around, make sure I get everything in frame here for you guys and look at the frame and I'm a little bit out of frame so I need to pull it out this way a little bit more so you can see it all right uh, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what this is so I came across this on eBay I think it was eBay and what it is is it was I think sub 40 bucks and it's designed to hold the Phantom 3 standard. I think it'll probably hold pretty much the Phantom line or the Phantom style copters. So I went ahead and ordered one because uh, one of the things I do is, is I want to have it set up so I can just kind of grab and go with a lot of my copters and not have to worry about packing them up and everything. So let me get the, uh, the 3 here. It's kind of behind me on the shelf. Uh, the one thing I think I probably uh, would prefer was a little bit different. I might be able to do it. I might still be able to leave the props on. It looks like I can probably leave the props on. Fits a little bit nicely in there. Um, I think the batteries could fit in like right there. It seems to have some uh, bigger slots here where the batteries could fit right down in. It might be a little bit hard getting out. Um, it looks like it's got a spot here where you put the controller, you put a small tablet, or sorry, I think the controller probably goes over here and you put some small tablets or stuff here in additional. So, uh, and, and then it would just close up like this. That's not actually too bad. So, that's actually looking pretty interesting. Let me get the uh, controller and let me see about how we stick the controller in with the, uh, with the bigger tablet holder. So. Okay, so I'm back. I've got the, uh, with the bigger tablet holder. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I think this, this would work if I turn the antenna like this and push this like this. Um, will that fit? I'm not sure that's quite going to fit like that. That might be a little bit of an issue. I might have to do some workarounds to get that to fit in. If I cut the foam, it would definitely, I think, work. I'm not, uh quite seeing how. But again, this is meant for the Phantom 3 and I've added that on. So I might have to come up with something with that. But definitely without this on here, it would uh, very nicely slide into this. But the, uh, the uh, handles are hitting a little bit. I'm kind of surprised this doesn't fold in enough. I'll have to take a look at it. But it's got, you know, so I could put my iPhone 5 in here. These are really deep holes. One of the things that I want want to also do is let's let's take the phantom out and let's see how it fares with the up air. Well, I don't think it'll quite fit with the up air. Well, you'd have to cut the foam because the uh, the base of the up air is a little bit bigger. Now you could put it in without the props upside down. That, that definitely works with the up here, but you see how these are bigger. The landing legs stick out further than the uh, Phantom, so it would have to go in upside down with the props removed. But this would also work, I think, with the uh, up air in this configuration. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try the up air controller. I know this is a little tough to get down. Um... Again, I think you would have to cut the foam. You could probably get it in here, but you would have to cut the foam. So you could still use it, but you'd, you'd have to cut it 
for the, the bigger controller or you can set it over here um, to get it in there and then just fold the antennas down sort of as such and then either cut it out over here or cut something out over here but this there's, there's plenty of room in the case and like I say for a 40 hour case I didn't think this was too bad because you just kind of I didn't let it to the side but then obviously pick it up and you're all ready to go wherever you want to go flying um, now I like this a little bit more than the backpack case to make sure everything is in here. So I, I like this a little bit more in the backpack case because for my use, most of it is, is I'm just, uh, you know, throwing it in the trunk and then going. And so this works good. I like the hard case. I'm not really backpacking it around with me. Uh, so my, my thinking is, is to get a couple of these and use them for regular storage. And uh, I'll have the link for these down below. So if you're interested in one, I, again, for around 40 bucks, I think it was in the mid 30s. Um, and I can't remember shipping because it took about two weeks for it to get here. But I like the idea of this just being all self-contained. I pull the batteries out. When I'm done, everything just goes in here and I'm ready to go for the, uh, my next adventure, if you will. So again, I'm turning this the other way to see how this goes. And so I kind of like the way that that fits. So I have to do a little bit of adjusting for this um, uh, piece on the remote controller, but I'm not really concerned about it. And I like the fact I've got ample room for various tablets to go in here. Um, you know, it's clear I could probably put easily four batteries, which is good because I'm also going to be doing a review on a new battery that I've gotten for the Phantom 3. I like the fact I can put, uh, leave the props on and still close it because I just like to grab and go. So when I go back out to the field, I just yank this out, battery goes in, we start everything up, remove the gimbal guard, and we're good to go. So uh, this work looks pretty nice. Also, it's not overly descript as being uh, a drone case either. You know, for theft, if I happen to leave it in the back of the car or something like that, um, I don't think it would get that much attention, but it is a big, nice case of sorts. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, if you guys have one and you've done some adapta adaptations, I will spit that out, folks. Let me know in the comments below. I'll have a link to this below. You'll also see it in use in some of my future videos um, because I also plan on util utilizing this top sort of as a launching pad to keep it up off the sand. You know I do a lot of beach flying, so I think that'll be good. Um, and then I'm going to probably do up a modified version for my up airs too, so I can throw my up airs in one. And then that way I can just go, you know, I get two hands here, you know, carry this out to the beach, have two cases, just open up the case for each one, and then I'm all set. So, like simplicity. So, anyways, hey, I really like this for roughly 40 bucks. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up too. Again, link below, comment, subscribe button coming over there. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.